I'm Judy Fabjans, and you're watching Improv Nerd. Improv Nerd. Mm. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm, mm. I'm just not, I just don't feel sexy. Stop it. No, I'm serious. Okay, well, all right, we'll hold, try this. Okay, all right. Well, I have this fantasy that we're both laying naked on a lawn chair at an all-inclusive sandals resort in Jamaica. Ooh. Mm, yeah. Oh, wait, 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 no, no, no. We can't do that because of the chemotherapy, I have to make sure that I don't get a sunburn. Oh, shh. <laughs> it's okay. We put on SPF 50 before we started. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Safe sex. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, no, 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 no. Jamaica isn't gay friendly. No, no, it's an all-inclusive resort. <laughs> I don't think that that's what they mean. <laughs> oh. Okay, well, okay, I have another one. All right, okay. so we're at that nightclub, Neo, mm -hmm. you know, and we're like dirty dancing on the dance floor, and then that LMAFO song, Sexy and I Know It, comes oh, yeah. on, and we just we just start doing it on the dance floor, and everyone's like, oh my God, they're doing it, let's Facebook post this Oh, wait, no, 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 because of the whole brain radiation, I get so tired and exhausted all the time, I don't think I'd even last an entire song. That's right, you wouldn't last an entire song because of my sexiness. <laughs> elevator goes up, elevator goes down. All right, you are sexy. And I know it. <laughs> but can we, can you please choose a fantasy that is less exhausting? Okay. Um, oh, okay, okay, I got it right. You're stranded on the side of the road on 90, you know, m near medieval times. Mm hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, because your alternator broke. Wait, and wait, 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 wait. We just spent 475 bucks getting it replaced. <laughs> it was before that, okay? Okay. Um, and so, so you call AAA, and I show up in like a, a, a white tank top and like overalls and bandana. I'm like, what seems to be the problem, miss? And you're like, help me. And then we just start doing it on the hood of the car. Oh, wait, mm. wait, no, no. We can't because of the tumors in my brain. Remember, I can't drive in case I have a seizure. Oh, no, no, no. No, this is like a special sexy car with autopilot. Oh, mm. yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Is that now or in the future? Because I don't know how much longer I'm going to be around. Don't talk like that. What? You're not going anywhere. Besides, you have just as much of a chance of getting hit by a bus. Why does everyone keep saying that to me? I, I don't know. <laughs> oh, wait, I have a fantasy. Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. so we're both... You? Darn it, I don't remember. We're both, um... Ah, I can't remember, stupid chemo brain. Um, okay, no, no, sorry, all right. We are two southern bells during the war of 1812. No, <laughs> no, they didn't have chemo back then. I'd be dead. Uh, okay, <laughs> we are in space. Solar radiation. Um, we're in China. No, and... no, you know, just never mind. Just, I'm sorry, I'm just not into this. Okay. Do you want to just watch TV and go to bed? This one. <laughs> Thank you for being a friend. Oh. Down Golden, Golden Girls. Girls. Uh, we wrote a version of that scene without cancer. Without cancer in it. Back when we were we were trying we were writing a show for Geico called Breast and Show, and. It was just, we kind of realized when we both try to fantasize about each other, real world stuff always came in like, oh, well, that's not safe sex, or oh, there's probably rusty nails there. So someone was always like block, pushing, a, pushing it away, finding an excuse not to go there. Yeah, yeah, or just how that fantasy just wouldn't work out because it, yeah, and it then get sand everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and and then they didn't. We didn't put it in the show because we had already so much material between the two of us. You were heavy in the show. So yeah, you in the business. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and then when we were writing this show, we were like, well, why don't we put cancer into it because that is really what it is now. 